Undefeated. Welcome in to Raiders Game Day, everybody. I'm Amber Theo Harris along with James Jones and Eric Allen. And we are back for this season, kicking off the season with a big win over a division rival. They beat the Broncos 17 to 16. And look, 17 points, you hope to score a little bit more. But man, for a defense That's to right. hold the Broncos to 16 points, <laughs> yeah. we'll take that all season long. Absolutely. But what do you, I mean, seven straight wins now yeah. against the Denver Broncos. And also, we're number one in the division. Everybody else in the division in the AFC West lost in week one. So it feels pretty good. What's your biggest Let's takeaway? Let's shut it down right now. Yeah, Let's yeah. shut it down division right winners, now. Division winners, right? Turn the playoffs. Right? Turn the lights off. <laughs> EA, what made you most excited about this performance? Jacoby Myers, really. Yeah. I, I thought yes. that uh, Devontae Adams, they were going to double him and try and take him out the ball game. Someone else had to really step up. Yeah. Jacoby Myers did an outstanding job. Just not lining up on one side, though. I think he's the kind of guy you're going to be able to move around inside, outside. He's like a mentor. Uh, uh, like a mini Devontae Adams. Yeah. I really love the way he was able to compete today. Hope he's okay after the game, but he did a tremendous job today taking that weight off. Yeah, I like it, and it's going to be tough to guard both those dudes because they yeah. are moved around all over the football field. They motioning them. They doing all type of stuff with them, so I love it. But for me, we all know Defense travels. Right? <laughs> Last time I checked, we got more road games, right? <laughs> so when defense travels, you talk about 16 points. Mm -hmm. If they're able to do that, they're going to win a lot of games. It's going to be a lot of smiles up here this one. <laughs> a lot of smiles up here for the Raiders. But, hey, I love what i seen from the defense, being able to get some stops, yeah. you know, get after Russ. They really didn't give up explosive plays. It was a lot of nickel and diamond that they gave up and got off the field on third day. Nate Hobbs did a great job yeah. playing that inside. He did, and coming up uh, in this show, we're going to talk to Josh Jacobs and also Max Crosby. We're going to take a look at Jimmy Garoppolo in his debut. That man was out there running for first downs, and you know Raider Nation loved it. We're also going to break down the wide receiver core, as EA and JJ just said. Looks a little different this year in Las Vegas, but the one thing that is the same is the energy of Max Crosby. Taking a look at his performance and the defense's performance. But hey, let's get to the highlights. The game started out with the Broncos thinking they were tricking everybody, yeah. but the onside kick didn't work because illegal touching called on Denver. But <laughs> A lot yeah, of excitement go for nothing. Yeah. Yeah, bro, we've been practicing this all week. Yeah, they were so, go you know how excited Sean Payton oh, was for that call? So bad. He's that's, like, watch what we're going to do. That's right. That's, right. Work that's, out. that's, that's the main coach of points. <laughs> make sure you ain't offsides and make sure it go 10. So here we go. Jimmy Garoppolo in his debut uh, hits Devontae Adams for 13 yards. That play is not yards. designed to do that. No, 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 no. no. it worked. We'll Great take adjustment it. by 17. Yeah. First down, and it leads to this. Five plays later, Jimmy Garoppolo to Jacoby Myers. Who's Welcome oh, to Las that, Vegas, that young man. What you doing? Uh, what I you like talking to him for like beautiful that? Beautiful back shoulder ball by Jimmy G and Jacoby. That's money oh. time right there. And you call that easy work. Man. I'm going to stare you down. Hey, if he keeps <laughs> doing that all season, that's going to help Devontae yeah, Adams a lot. Yeah, so the yeah. Raiders are up 7-0. Broncos first possession. Russell Wilson to Brandon Johnson. 21 yards for the catch. Down to the Denver 41 later in the drive. Third down, three yards to go. Russell Wilson That's to Adam up. Trotman for 15 yards. So they're moving it. Yeah, yeah. Throw by Russ. They're moving yeah. it. Remember, he's trying to get back on track. That's Sean Payton's job is to get Russell Wilson going two plays later. He gets it going. He rolls to the right. They had trouble containing him early. Yeah. All, Will Jordan all Humphrey. Season. All offseason talked about trying to get Russ on the move, running, and throwing. But they did mix the extra point. And remember that. That'll come back later. Here we go. Jimmy Garoppolo again to Jacoby Myers. We're going to see a lot of that this season. Next play, Jimmy Garoppolo to Josh Jacobs. Oh, hey, welcome you. back, number eight. eight. Not 28. It's number eight <laughs> this year. Eight. We'll take it 19 yards. That's going to be huge all season. Josh out of the backfield catching that rock. And that drive ends in a 24-yard Daniel Carlson field goal. The Raiders lead 10 to 6. We got to be better than the Reds on that. We want yeah. touchdowns. You want the sevens, we, not threes. We love our field goal kicker, but we want touchdowns. Bloody sacks, too. But we'll take yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Doesn't get better than Max Crosby, his first sack of the year, seven yard loss. Uh, keep working, keep working, keep working with the hands. Keep working with the hand. There you go. Uh, come here. That's, I see you, Malcolm Kuntz, on the other side. 38 and a half career sack for him. Broncos get the ball back with 2.30 left. And, uh, Pass interference is called on Jacorian Bennett. He's a rookie. He's yeah. a rookie. They're trying to double move him over there. They're trying to double, double move him. But still, I mean, tangled feet, you know, got him on, got him on a little easy one. Three plays later, Russell Wilson 
Goes to the right and finds Cortland Sutton in the back of the end zone. He beats Trayvon Merrick on that play. All and the good Broncos. Throws is outside the pocket right okay, now. Let's see. Let's see these crossing routes. All right, so he's going to find some room, working on Epps a little bit. So Epps, you got to, once Russell's outside the pocket, you're free to push the receiver out of bounds. Absolutely. Right? 13 10 at the half. The Denver Broncos lead first half of the possession, first possession of the half, and Josh Jacobs gets a little seven yard run. Second and nine at the Denver 33. Jimmy Garoppolo to Devontae release. Adams. First down, 12 yards. JJ, you so, called that play, too. I called it, like it man. You know, I, I, you know, I'm going to be offensive coordinator one day. <laughs> it was a good play. It worked out well. Second and two. Pass interference penalty yeah. called on Damari Mathis. And so the Raiders Certainly. get a new set of downs. Here we this go. After an illegal formation yeah. penalty. He is looking for Amir Abdullah, but it's tipped and intercepted by Kareem Jackson. First mistake of the year by Jimmy Garoppolo. And like EA say, that's two red zone drives, right? And we need to turn them Let's look at 17. Let's look at 17 points. right by the end look, zone. Okay, right once we're not ready. We're really not set up to throw the ball to him, which is okay. But if you're going to force a ball, force a ball into someone like Devontae. Right? So you have a better chance of getting a 50 Or not only that, throw that away and let's get three. Fourth quarter, they punt the ball, and Luke Masterson is called mm. for roughing the kicker. And ball. so, sorry, big. guys, you're not going to – we, sorry, Raiders, you're not going to get yeah, the ball. Yeah. yeah, they were off the field, and now new set of downs, first and ten. Samaj P. Ryan with a good rush, 12 right. yards down yeah. to the Las Vegas eight. That's a good run right there. And uh, Will Lutz. Ends a drive with a 24-yard field goal. And so now the Broncos take a 16-10 lead. Here we go. Raiders, Jimmy Garoppolo Beautiful. to Jacoby Myers for 16 yards. 270. He, he, we're giving him some work today. Jacoby could play, man. <laughs> Jimmy Garoppolo again. Oh, nice oh, catch. Yes. Only catch that we saw today by Austin Hooper, but it came at the right time, 20 yards. For a first down, second and six. Jimmy Garoppolo to Jacoby Myers for his second touchdown of the day. And the Raiders take That's a 17-16 gotcha. lead. Ooh, what you backing up for? Uh, got you. Yeah, so what's that saying is our second receiver is better than your second cornerback. Mm -hmm. Might be better than your first. Okay, you know. Broncos next drive with under six minutes to play. Russell Wilson. Get him down. Get him down. To Adam Trotman. Open field tackle. Good tackle. Forces Open a field punt. tackle. I see you 2-5. Uh, check down Charlie. Raiders next possession, third and seven. Jimmy Garoppolo to Jacoby Myers, and this was really scary. He was leveled by Kareem Jackson, gets an unnecessary roughness call, but uh, he is being evaluated for a concussion. We'll have an update on that if we receive it. Here's Jimmy Garoppolo. Look at him pick him up and put him down. We see you, Jimmy. I mean, you had to love that. You had to like that one. That makes you feel good no, that, seeing your quarterback do that. I'm telling you, everybody cover for you to get out of there and pick up a first down with your legs, and you know what that equals? Victory <laughs> formation, picking up that third down. Don't got to kick it, punt it, none of that. No decisions being That's made. The second the best play in football. It, 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 it has been 1,352 days since the Raiders <laughs> lost to the Broncos. They have never <laughs> lost to the Broncos uh, since they moved to Las Vegas. Look, there's some things that need to be cleaned up. You want to be better in the red zone than 50%. You don't want to have 10 penalties Circle and get penalties. 97 really yards. Away? Yeah. Man. But you can take away from that game. You have that many penalties. You lose the turnover battle, lose the time of possession battle, and you still win the game. Yeah, so that's yeah. a gutsy win that is, to come out it. with a one-point win. All right, still to come here on Raiders game day, we are going to be talking to Josh Jacobs. Looking forward to that. Good to see yep. him. Coming up for you in just a minute. He's ready to go. There he is a mile high. Uh, the number eight looks good on him. With that C on his chest. Raiders game day is brought to you by America First Credit Union, the official credit union of the Las Vegas Raiders. Allegiant, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, nonstop flights, book now only at Allegiant.com. Cox, proud partner of the Las Vegas Raiders. Coors Light, an official beer of Raider Nation, made to chill. Welcome back to Raiders game day as the Raiders win this one 17-16 over the Denver Broncos and Josh Jacobs joins us now from Mile High and Josh it looked like you just felt good being back on a, out on a football field. How was the win? <laughs> 
Yeah, man. I mean, it's it's always great to get a win in the National Football League, man. Just to be out there with my, uh, you know, my guys and just to fight through adversity, man. It felt good. It's a good uh, first win. Josh, you know, I thought, you know, no training camp practices, you, you know, held out of training camp a little bit. I'm like, dang, my dog gonna have to get his legs under him a little bit, you know what I mean? Maybe, you know, monitor his snaps. I guess y'all said, F all that, huh? It's time to go. You was feeling good, huh? Yeah, man. I mean, I, I can say in the in the, in the first uh, you know first half, I felt a little rusty. Uh, it was a couple plays that I knew I, I slipped on and I could have made a play. Uh, but I told the guys, man, I'm the I'm the ultimate competitor, man. When I go out there and them lights come on, I'm a, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. So I told them it was a couple times they wanted to take me out. I'm like, nah, I'm staying in on that. Play. <laughs> That's kind of how I played. <laughs> uh, Josh, we all love you. Your running game, love you in the receiving game too. Talked about the adjustments from the first half to the second half. Yeah, man, we all just came in. It was just the little things, man. We had a couple of times where we could have, you know, made a couple of plays. Uh, you know, the D-line was stunning and uh, the linebackers was plugging. So we just had to be aware of what they was doing and, you know, try to adjust to it. And um, we eventually made the adjustments. Josh, there was one shot the national television cameras caught of you laughing as Randy Gregory was jawing after a play in the first half. And then he got a little bit more quiet in the second half. What was he saying to you when he got up and you were laughing? Man, he was saying a lot of stuff about how he ain't a linebacker. He he this and that in the third. But, you know, at the end of the day, man, he's just, he just another face out there on the field. I ain't, I ain't worried about it. Hey, offensively, how'd y'all feel, man? Because, I mean, we can't underestimate that this is a top five defense in the National Football League that y'all going up in week one, yeah. you know? So, offensively, I know it's always a couple plays you wish you could have back, but how you feel like the offense was moving today? Yeah, man, we did. We did pretty good. Like you said, man, they got a great defense, man. I mean, their game plan was their game plan was solid coming in uh, to this game, man. But we just made adjustments, and you know, the guys fought through adversity. And I think that was that was the biggest thing that uh, you know, when we was on the sideline, nobody really, you know, got too big or got too in the moment. Everybody just stayed locked in and on on the task ahead. Josh, last one, last question for me. What does it uh, feel like to have that C on your chest, my man? Come on, man. It's a it's it's the most ultimate, you know, respect that you can get from your guys, man, especially because, you know, it's, it's voted by the players, uh, man. So to be only be there for four days and come in and still get voted captain, I think that was a major testament to, you know, what they think of me and um, how I go about working. Yes, sir. Josh, I can't let you go without asking about Jimmy Garoppolo. What was it like to sit back there and see your quarterback running for first down, sacrificing his body out come there? Come on, man. Hey, man, that man is a dog. I told him I don't think I've ever blocked that good in my life. I said, boy, you made me want to block for you. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hey, Josh, I'll tell you, uh, number eight looks great on you. Continued yes. success, and uh, hopefully it'll lead to many more Raiders wins in that number. Thanks a lot, Josh. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. And one of the biggest surprises was him getting 19 <laughs> carries out of 29 rushing attempts. Did you guys expect him to be much more eased in and to be much more of a running back by committee, especially week one? Yeah, no, I did. Yeah. No, no, no doubt about it. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, it's good that they have faith in him, and yeah. he answered the call, yeah, and he, he was did. productive. But I think one of the biggest developments in this offense that we saw was the addition of Jacoby Myers in the offseason. Look, they need a true number one A or two receiver to take the pressure yeah. off Devontae Adams yeah. and let Devontae do what he needs to do. But I think we saw even more than we expected mm -hmm. from this receiving core as far as Jacoby Myers' role. Yeah. I, you know, first of all, this is a great adjustment by 17, you know, because this is supposed to be like a sprint right option, open. Open. But to be able to be the number one guy and know that your number two guy can eat and, and, and just just dominate like this, just outstanding job by this offense being able to get the two to work together and have a really yeah. productive and, game, JJ. And I tell people all the time, when you are a number one receiver, you want to see the number two eat. Yeah. Get this double coverage off of me. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. I want to see you eat. So for the league to see this and, and the defenses and the opponents coming up, knowing that you are going to have to account for Jacoby now is going to be huge for Devontae because what are you going to do? you got to take a safety off of Devontae, and it's going to be one-on-one -on -one for Devontae, and he's going to be able to get busy. And Jacoby is big. He fast. He got really good hands. We've seen the release at the line of scrimmage. These two together, staying healthy, is going to be a problem for defenses for the whole whole year. And you know that 
line is going to go up for Devontae Adams. Six catches for 66 oh, yeah. yards. That bottom line is definitely going to go that up. That bottom line is definitely going to you know. go up. But for Jacoby Myers, that was the first time ever in his career that he's had multiple touchdowns oh, in one game. Hey, touchdowns yeah. hard to get, man. And they are. And yeah. last year with the Patriots, he had a little over 800 yards. He had a career high uh, mm -hmm. for himself. But if he can get to that 1,000-yard mark, it, it, seeing that receiver core will be exciting. One of the questions about the receiver core, we didn't see much of Hunter Renfro. Right, yeah. And 19 targets to just two guys could become a little predictable. So hoping maybe in the next game against the Bills, we'll see a little bit more um, options for Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah, tight end needs to get involved, you know, in the middle of the football field. Uh, of course, Hunter needs to find uh, room and a spot to be able to kind of, you know, emerge and be that guy maybe on third down. But right now, these two guys are really no feeding doubt. and eating. No doubt. But, but for me, you talk about third down, that's where Hunter lives. And if you got Jacoby on one side and Tay on one side, two guys that run a really good routes that can get open, Hunter got to work that middle of the field to be able to get us drives, continue these drives, and be able to work that middle on third down. So I'm seeing uh, he needs packages. I don't know what it is, but they got to find a way to get him involved. Hey, I'm looking to the evolution, forward to the evolution of Michael Mayer, the, the first round pick for them. He had one catch. Yeah. It was a good one. So, uh, I'm sorry, uh, more with Austin Hooper. He had the one big catch. Yeah. To see him more involved as a tight end than Michael Mayer getting involved right. as well will be exciting. Yeah. So, all right, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, James Jones and Eric Allen are going to break down the film. You don't want to miss it. Hi, I'm Malia Hyman. I go to Shadow Ridge High School and I play corner on defense for flag football. I currently help volunteer working with young students in the volleyball program. I love doing community service. I love giving back to the community and helping out, especially the younger kids. I work with NCSA. There we're able to help ref kids and teach them about the game and show how much we love the game and you get to see their faces and how they love the game as well. I think it's really important because these younger generations, they get to look up to you and you kind of be a role model that they may not have. Thank you Intermountain Health and the Raiders for this amazing opportunity. Go Raiders. coming into this game was two veteran quarterbacks now in the same division going up against each other. And for Russell Wilson, this year is about getting back on track. For Jimmy Garoppolo, it's about establishing himself in Las Vegas. For more on how both quarterbacks did in this game, let's send it over to EA and JJ for a breakdown. Thanks, Amber. Here at the uh, Monitor, we're going to show you a little bit of what we don't want to see mm -hmm. early on in this football game. Of course, all offseason was all about how can Russell Wilson get back to cooking, right? No doubt, no doubt. And we don't want him to be able to cook on us. Mm -hmm. Early on, he was successful. Let's roll the tape here. Yeah. We want to make sure we keep Russell inside the pocket. We know how successful he is when he was at Seattle, outside the pocket, finding those plays yeah. here. But you got to be disciplined when you're rushing here. No Let's doubt. roll the tape. Here we go. Got to be, got to be disciplined. You're up the oh, field. Right oh, Max yep. gets inside and looks what happened. Look no here, doubt. Russell Wilson outside the pocket where you can see the receiver, and he's really good here outside the pocket. You have to establish a pocket presence if you're a defense. If you're a receiver, what are you thinking here, JJ? Hey, we scramble rules, and, one, <laughs> and Russ knows once I get out of the pocket, and we see right here, same thing, right? We come inside, we let Russell Wilson outside the pocket, but we got to do a better job defensively, either right. pushing these dudes outside out of bounds when the quarterback escapes the pocket, or play. Plastering. Yeah, you know how it is. You, you got to plaster to the board. Throw him out of bounds. Yes. The quarterback is outside the pocket. As a corner DB, you want to throw him out of bounds, right? So, again, you see Russell Wilson always usually outside the pocket to his right. He throws well, does a masterful job. Now, we get in at halftime, make some adjustments, mm -hmm. and we say to ourselves, let's keep him inside the pocket. Yes, let's sir. find a way to really harass him, make him uncomfortable in this pocket, and here's what you get when you do those things. Matt's going to get upfield. Let's run a tape here. And again, Malcolm at the bottom does a great job being disciplined, and you're uncomfortable, you get an errant throw. And this yeah. is what we need defensively against quarterbacks who are mobile, don't like to stay in the pocket and finally after mm. you do that here's in the end here's what you it. get jj 
You get a collapse in, and you do it the right way. You no get doubt. a sack here again. And we Max all, Crosby just awesome. No doubt. You talk about it here. And, here. We, and we all know Russell Wilson does not want to stay in the pocket right. throwing the ball. We know that. When he does, <laughs> you're going to get those type throws. Or he's going to hold it a split second too long. And you see 98. He coming all game long. <laughs> yeah. And that's what they did. Sack, keep him inside the pocket. They're going to be all right. Yeah, so so important for mobile quarterbacks to keep him inside the pocket. Get your job done, especially with uh, Russell Wilson. So for Jimmy Garoppolo, it, it was a good start. 20 for 26. He had 200 passing yards, two touchdowns, both to Jacoby Myers. So it was great to see that connection early on. And look, 11 rushing yards. Hey, uh -huh. if were a big first down. Come on now. We got to love that. And he has a quarterback rating over 100, and that's the area that you want to be in. But Jimmy Garoppolo came to the Las Vegas Raiders to bring new life, mm -hmm. to uh, bring something different. This was the first time in nine years there was a different quarterback here. And it was encouraging to see early on, not trying to do too much, mm -hmm. as, as you guys okay. pointed out, but doing enough to win a game. Do you feel like we really have something to build on here based on the search performance? Well, the, the one thing we talk about Jimmy is he's a winner, right? Yeah. And that's what he was able to do today. Kind of an ugly game. You're first getting started. You didn't spread the ball out to seven or eight guys. Felt comfortable with two or three guys throwing the ball to, which we talked about earlier. But more importantly, the ability to understand the pocket and get out no and doubt. get pick up first down no with your legs. That's so important. Absolutely. Man. And we showed the 11 rushing yards, which was big, right? Two mm -hmm. first downs that he picked up. One he even got a penalty. But when you look at him getting outside the pocket and escaping and making some throws down the football field, I'm telling you, those these things right here that extend drives, <laughs> I mean, this is fourth and one. This is Jimmy G moving outside the pocket, even though it's a sprint right option. You want to get the ball out your hands fast. But this is him moving. Pocket clean, yeah. boom, we know he can do this 24-7. When the pocket's clean, he can throw the football with the best of them. But what we loved most is how he moved in this pocket, right? Don't force no throws. Ooh, Let's move. Which, yeah. That's fine. Buying time, that's fine. If he can do that and not throw the football away and be that able to take the That ball was on the money, too. That was a dime that was right a dime. there yes. that Jacoby has to make. That could have been three on the day for Jacoby. But just his awareness in the pocket was Love huge. It. Love it. Even right that. here, you see him escape. Hey, he not Lamar Jackson, but right. I'm going to escape. I'm going to give my receivers a, a couple more seconds to get open. He finds D.A. right there. Worst thing for a defensive back when the guy is moving in the pocket, finding room, and then he understands where the defense defense is, picks up those first downs with your legs, and that was so important, right? Because this kind of seals the game, the understanding, let me slide, not run out of bounds, and that's why he's so excited about, about that run there all day long. He was really manipulating the pocket, just moving a little bit left, moving a little bit right, finding ways to continue to keep his receivers, the ability of them to be in the open and hitting them. And those, those, are, those are backbreakers, right? You come into a game plan saying, listen, hey, <laughs> let Jimmy G run or whatever. Yeah. Like, we are going to play cover two man-to-man, -man, right? So if Jimmy G knows I got some man-to-man -man, and we see him picking them, picking them feet up and putting them knees up, picking them knees up, hey, if it's man-to-man, -man, get outside the pocket, pick up a first down, extend the drive. Yeah. It felt like there was a little more meat on the bone uh, that we'll see maybe in the next game yes, as far as timing. You talked about that, JJ. It's a little oh, tough no. when you do bring in a, a new quarterback. Maybe it takes a couple yeah. more games to get the timing down. It looked good today, but could be and, better. And you don't like running into the Broncos defense week one. So that's no. why this is impressive. Because yeah. you got a really good defense week one. It's not like you got a revamped Houston Texans or mm -hmm. something. You know what I mean? Like trying to find a way. Broncos know what they're doing. And they've yeah. been doing it at a high level for a long time. And you do have to tip your hat yeah. to Patrick Sertan, uh, the second. He did a good job yeah. in the first half. Yeah. Second half, Devontae started to get loose yeah. a little bit more. But those are good young corners. Oh, a man. good young secondary oh, there. No. Yeah, you really relish that matchup as fans, right? <laughs> Coming into the game when you you know, you have Devontae Adams, the first game, two, you know, all pros, two guys who are at the top of their game going at it. And, again, he's battled well, no had doubt. a couple breakups today. But in the end, Devontae Adams continues yeah. to make those kind of plays that are winning plays. And for I a just love team. it because accept the challenge. Yeah. I love it. The young fella accept the challenge every time. He does. He does. We love seeing it. All right, much more to come on Raiders game day as the Raiders win this one 17-16 over the Denver Broncos. We'll have much more. Stick with us. This segment has been brought to you by Twitch. Watch, discover, join in. The Las Vegas Raiders and Allegiant Stadium have elevated and expanded their premium suite offerings. Individual rentals are now available for the 2023 Raiders regular season. 
Create a memorable experience for your top clients or come celebrate a special occasion in an all-inclusive club suite. Reserve your spot by visiting raiders.com slash club suites or scanning the QR code on the screen. Listen to me, because right, this is this is different. Okay, this is different. We had do we have some adversity today? Yes, sir. Yep, yep. We we had three personal fouls. We rough a punter, right? Which we were going. We were playing hard, right? We didn't we didn't necessarily do everything we wanted to do. We had a turnover in the red zone, all right? But we persevered. Yes, sir. Now listen to me. I'm really proud of the effort. I'm really proud of the maturity. Yes, all right, sir. that we yeah. showed, okay? Because again, there was some things that weren't going our way. All right, we handled them with class, we handled them with dignity, and fellas, you, you persevered, so we won in the fourth quarter. Yes, sir. All right, and we won in the fourth quarter. Yeah, so, yeah. That's the way to compete for four, for four quarters, fellas. That's what we've been talking about. That's what it took to win. Yes, all right, all right break it down, Let's break it. it down. Hey, like you said, man, hey, it's just one, but it's the first of many, man. Get used to this, man. Okay, Keep right. working, stay together. Let's go. Awesome. Gang on me, gang on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Josh McDaniels with his first victory speech in the locker room of 2023, and it felt good, but he was right. It's what we said earlier in the show. They didn't do everything right. It was ugly at times, but they dug deep. They get the win, and you guys, in the National Football League, one-score games happen all the time, and it is the difference in just those little things and persevering that lead to a victory. No question. You're talking about one-score games, one-play games. It's going to come down to usually to whoever got the ball last. You know, going to win the game or you need to get a stop. That's, yeah. that's the NFL. Yeah, it's one game, right? And then the, the win can come in any part of the season. But to get the first one is so important no because now you're not stressed. Yeah. You think, okay, we're on the right track. We can fix some things. Better to fix some things when you get a win mm -hmm. than a loss. Man, you go 0-2, 0-3 to open up the Ooh. season, it is a long season. Ooh, don't, so, don't so excited that. that these guys were able to persevere and kind of overcome the hurdles and make mm -hmm. it happen. Yeah, and last year, this was a team that lost nine one-score games. Yeah. So we know the difference in those little one-point games. Yeah. It's still 1-0. doesn't matter. That's, it was by one <laughs> point. Oh, no. And we here, too. Come on, let's do it. That's Gang on three. <laughs> Gang on me. One, two, three. Yeah. 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 Let's go back out to Josh McDaniels, who was at the podium at Mile High, brought to you by Yamava. may not be as familiar with Jacoby Myers as maybe other fans are, but I feel like they got a, a, a good glimpse of what Jacoby Myers is all about tonight. Yeah, I mean, he's just, you just, he's a football player. You know, he's tough. He does a lot of dirty work. He blocks in a running game. Um, can go inside and make plays inside. And uh, he's got good size and, you know, can make some things happen on third down or in the red zone. But um, that's why he's here, you know. Uh, Dave, you know, was able to get that taken care of so that we could have a, a guy on the other side of Tay and two receiver sets that, you know, does some of those things uh, the way he does them. And so always comes up big in big games. Um, and today was no different. I don't. I haven't talked to the doctors yet. Coach, yeah, um, well, the first one, um, I honestly think that um, I think the first one was, uh, was Jimmy and him just kind of, uh, they were t communicating at the line of scrimmage. And then it just, it was a fade, you know, and I think it was Mathis, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, it was kind of tight on him. But Jacoby's got incredible hands, you know, and, and he's got good size and length, you know. So uh, just kind of Jimmy put it in a great spot, and Jacoby went up and got it and shielded it with his body. Um, and then the second one was just a slant, you know, and. I thought Jimmy read it good. Uh, it, it was going to be a bang bang play there because I thought Simmons was right there on the right, and so he was going to have to. I thought Cobes did a good job of flattening his route down, and really being able to, you know, kind of give him the only shot to complete that ball, and uh, and Jimmy put it right on the money. Was Jimmy upset when that tipped uh, interception in the end zone should have thrown it away? Maybe get three points. Out yeah, of like I said, he 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 acknowledged that that wasn't you know, uh, at the end of the day, you can all uh, hindsight's twenty twenty and. He would have rather, you know, done something different with the football, but um, you know, we'll learn from that hopefully and uh, get better because of it. Coach, I know you've addressed the way that Jimmy played and his on the field things, but just in terms of his character, in terms of how he was composed, how do you think that alleviate the rest of the offense going series to series? Yeah, I mean, you know, he's he's a he's a good leader. Um, he's won a lot of games in this league, you know, and um, you know that. I think I think the guys in the locker room know 
uh, who they have and, and what this guy can do, um, how competitive he is. He's a very good leader. He's a great communicator. Um, you know, just does what it takes to win. You know, doesn't give a – he doesn't care about his statistics or anything like that. It's just whatever I got to do at my position to try to help the team win, I'm going to try to do it. So, um, again, super happy that he's a Raider. Coach, how do you – Say it again. What are some of the things you'd like to paint on? Uh, well, we don't have enough time. Um, you know, just – you know, I thought some of the penalties we could – you know, we could certainly avoid that, you know, and um, – you know, didn't I didn't think we were as productive in a running game as I wish we were. Um, you know that you know we got to get you know we're gonna have to do better than what we did today in a running game. Um, you know, just there's so many things. You know, had the mistake on the punt rush. You know, a turnover in the red zone. You know, defensively we kind of allowed the quarterback to be too efficient. You know, in the first half, lost contained the pass rush. So um, there's like I said, I'm just rattling off six or eight things right now that are on my head, but I'm sure we're gonna find another 15 of them on the on the plane ride home. Uh, Coach, you happy with Josh Jacobs' workload? And yeah. so Josh McDaniels uh, is three and zero now against the team that he once coached. <laughs> Beat Denver twice last there year. Go. Beat him again once this year. I know yeah. That feels good for him personally, even though he'd probably tell you uh, he doesn't really mind that much or think about it. But yeah. look, they haven't lost to the Broncos in 1,352 days mm. since 2019. Uh, since they've been in Las Vegas, haven't lost to the Broncos. But the big news is that in the AFC West, they're in first place. That's Everybody right. else lost today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, you, you loved watching that too. It's a Tyreek yeah. last minute. Hey. Miami Dolphins you know. to beat the Chargers hey. moment today. Everybody can't be in first, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the Chiefs lost to Detroit yeah. uh, on Thursday night football. Right. And then, uh, of course, Denver lost to the Raiders. So yeah, yes. the Raiders are at the top. But hey, right now. Max Crosby was a big reason for this victory, the defensive energy that he brings. Coming up next on Raiders Game Day, he joins us from Mile High. You don't want to miss it. It's Mad Max. Max. Oh, no shit. Shirt. Woo! <laughs> Got the baby girl on there. Love it. This segment has been brought to you by America First Credit Union, the official credit union of the Las Vegas Raiders. Raiders game day. The Raiders walk off from mile high with the win 17-16 over the Denver Broncos and Max Crosby in that defense tightened up especially in the second half. Oh he's going he's going <laughs> full shirtless. We're seeing all the ink be legendary. I'll tell you one thing Max one way to be legendary is start off the season 1-0. and How does it feel to get the win against a division opponent? It's incredible. You know, anytime uh, you're playing a division opponent on the road, um, you're trying to get that win. And that was, you know, it was huge for us today. We started off 1-0. We wanted to go 1-0. We came here. We did what we, what we needed to do. So I'm fired up for everybody. Um, it's obviously only one game, but it's huge. It's a division game. We're 1-0 in the division. Um, we got to get ready for Buffalo. Max, I had a chance to uh, catch y'all training camp practices against the Niners and the Rams. And you guys dominated both of those practices, and you could just see the confidence out there at practice. Did that translate into this game? 100%. You know, uh, I love this group of guys. You know, we've been doing everything together. The communication out there was awesome. Everyone's on the same page. So, obviously, we got a lot of things to clean up. Myself, personally, um, everybody on the defense, we know we can be better. Um, but it was a good start. You know, we, we persevered. We finished the game strong, and uh, we came out with a win. So, uh, we can only improve from here on out. You know, playing in Denver, that altitude is crazy. I'm not sure if you missed a play. I, I, did, you, did you play the whole game today? <laughs> I think I missed maybe one play, but <laughs> that's about it. But like I said, man, this is what I play for. Um, this is why I work the way I work. I want to be the best. I want to be my best every single day. And um, if that makes you know means me playing every single snap, I'm, I, I know I can do that. And uh, even with the altitude, it doesn't matter. So yeah, it was tough at some times, but I had to go to a different place and just continue to you know impose our will. Max, early on, uh, we look for things that are encouraging early in the season. And one of the things we saw was the ability to bounce back and be resilient, especially after some costly penalties. Some things could have gotten you to, to hold your head down across the board on the defense. How resilient is this group? Um, you know, it's obviously one game, but I've been seeing this all camp, all off season. Um, everyone's sticking together, not panicking. You know, that's what it's all about. We got to just trust our, trust our work and trust the guy next to us. And uh, you saw, you know, you saw that today. So I'm very excited for this whole group. We just got to uh, continue building from here on out.
Max, I just want to I want to know what what kind of keeps you going, man. You know, we talk to people all the time, talk to the kids, what's your why? Why you play the game? And a lot of people they always talk about effort and I'm gonna play 110%, you know, every play, but that ain't everybody. But when they turn on the tape on you, it's no. it's non-stop 24/7. So, mindset wise, what what's your mindset going into the game every single game, every single play? Uh, for me, it's, it's try to dominate every single play. Um, it's not going to be perfect. I know I get, I'm going to get a lot of attention, um, but that's the ultimate respect. So for me, um, I want to be able to impose my will in any way I can. And uh, that's what I try to bring uh, to this whole entire team and try to show them how it's done. And, uh, you know, I feel like the guys did a great job responding, um, showing up. And uh, the reason why I play the game is because I love it. Um, I want to be the best at what I do, and uh, I want to win. So uh, like I said, you know, we're one to know. we got a lot of work to do, but I'm fired up for the future of this team. Uh, halftime wise, I'm always interested in what you're going at halftime with. You make any adjustments and come out. Uh, can you give us any details on what you did differently uh, second half to uh, third quarter and fourth quarter? Um, I think we just uh, simplified it, you know, not trying to overthink it, not trying to do too much, just do our job. You know, uh, I, like I said, coach trusts us and we trust them. So you saw that today. Um, in the second half, I think we allowed three points. Um, we got continuous stops and big moments, and that's how you win football games in the National Football League. So um, it's exciting to see, and uh, we just got to keep building off of this. I'll tell you how you win football games in the National Football League. You hold your opponent to 16 points. If you guys can continue that, <laughs> it's going to be a fun season yes, for the Raiders. Sir. Hey, Max, thanks for stopping by. And Congratulations on the win. Yes, sir. Love you guys. Appreciate you. Uh, we love Max, too. He's yeah, pretty awesome yep. to talk to. And uh, one thing you can rely on is his energy every single game. But I want to give a shout-out to some other defenders. Yes. That as we were watching the game, we talked about. I mean, Nate Hobbs had a good game. He's now playing yes. inside. That's right. Which That's seems right. a little more comfortable yes. for him. Uh, he leads the team with 12 tackles. Mm -hmm. He had two tackles he for loss. Yes. And one quarterback Ooh, yes. hit. Ooh, mama, there yes. go that man. Love and it's him. a big inside. difference when you play where inside you feel more comfortable. Outside. Yeah. You know, yeah. last year they moved him outside and – Again, it's so difficult and tough with your eyes when you're outside. It's a whole different kind of ball game. Inside, he's a great tackler, kind of understands his leverage inside, almost like a you know, quasi-safety linebacker in there. And it really shows with his run reads. And I think he's yeah. very aggressive, and we need that kind of help in the middle of the football field. So Devine had a good game, too. Yeah, yeah Devine had the yeah. one penalty that kind of hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But then what we talked about with Max Crosby was the ability to bounce back after those mistakes. Right. And he was second on the team with nine tackles. Yes. He had one tackle for loss, <laughs> one pass defense. Yeah. So uh, overall, seven tackles for loss, uh, losses for the in the entire yeah, defense. defense. So there were some big plays. And I feel like... What Josh McDaniel said was right. In the fourth quarter, they won the fourth quarter. Yeah. That defense especially oh, yeah. felt like it became more organized and more settled down, but more aggressive in the fourth quarter. And I think that's what's encouraging because you almost want to see the Buffalo Bills game tomorrow. <laughs> You're know, like, come on. They were, they were, they were yeah. looking really good at the end of the last one. Um, yeah. So having that kind of momentum, do you believe, will really help no them? No doubt. And the the yeah. blessing about what happened was is early in the game, we was missing some of those solo tackles. Yes. Right? In the yeah. fourth quarter, we made those solo tackles. So to Great have point. your corners, your safety, some of the smaller guys, Solo tackling, making those tackles. You talk about 12 solo tackles, 12 <laughs> yeah. tackles. I don't know if they all were solo, but 12 they were tackles. <laughs> right, like, they were eight. You know, eight. coming from the nickel spot, yeah. like that, that is big time. And we've seen the safeties come up, make some one-on-one -on -one tackles. If they continue to tackle well like they tackled in the fourth quarter, they'll be a really good defense. You love seeing progress throughout the game. Still to come here on Raiders Game Day, Jimmy Garoppolo is talking to the media. We'll bring you out to Mile High coming up next right here on Raiders Game Day. Raiders game day has been brought to you by Twitch. Watch, discover, join in. Credit One Bank, the official credit card of the Raiders. Modelo, a taste that's pure gold, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Found a way to win when they weren't playing their best and that's what good teams do. How proud are you of your team? I'm uh, really proud. Uh, I thought a lot of guys stepped up today. Like, like you said, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't perfect by any means. But I mean, it's a division game. We know it's going to be tough. And uh, guys just stuck with it for 60 minutes. We knew it was going to be one of those games, and it was cool. When you when they brought you out after that hit, I mean, that was just to check you, but everything was good. I'm just curious. Does that just piss you? I mean, you, I've never seen that look on your face like you had. There. Yeah, I was pretty upset. Well, just because we were driving. I mean, we were off to a good start, and uh, I didn't feel like I needed to come out. But you know, that's that's the NFL rule, so. Is what it is, I guess. What was your feeling at the end of the run to clinch the game? 
It was awesome. It was awesome. Hi. Uh, yeah, just everything came together. Thought uh, guys really stepped up in those big moments today. I, I mean, Jacoby making that huge first down for us, getting the penalty, O line block great today. It was, it was all those little things coming together. It seemed like you point. and Jacoby were really in sync today. Uh, how early on did, did you guys establish that chemistry in training camp? Uh, Cobes has been very consistent, honestly. He's uh, he's the same guy every day, comes out, puts in the work, and as a quarterback, when you have a guy like that, it, it makes it easy. You can trust him. But I thought a lot of guys stepped up. Tay had some big plays for us, really got that touchdown drive at the end started for us. Uh, I'm at deep out route, so it was um, it was a lot of people stepping up in different ways. Hoop had a big catch on that drive. I mean, Josh Jacobs blocked his ass off. It was a lot of good stuff today. So short right memory up. after the uh, pick, but then to go and do the two drives you did? Yeah, yeah, the pick, I mean, it's a terrible, stupid decision. Just uh, got to take the points there, throw it away when nothing's there. But, you know, I thought uh, yeah, mental toughness kicked in and guys stuck with it. Uh, and they, they believed in me, so I appreciate them for that. Jimmy, how did the clock in your head or when to run change throughout the game today? And uh, how, how much did you have a conversation pre, mid, and post game with your offensive line about how they did? Uh, I talked to them all game. Those guys did a great job. Uh, kept me clean, no sacks. I mean, that's that's a quarterback's dream. So those guys balled out. Uh, the running kind of just happened. I didn't didn't plan for it. Um, they rushed past me, and you know the opportunity was there. So saw the saw the first down marker. Had to go get it. When you, you, don't win, you don't win in the NFL without complimentary football, and your defense had to answer the bell a couple of times. Uh, watching on the sidelines, how much satisfaction did you have yeah. making those plays? Yeah, defense was awesome, man. Uh, it's good offense. I mean, with Coach Payton over there, it's a tough scheme to go against. But uh, yeah, they stepped up. They made some big plays today. D line had some cool sacks, and it was just that's the that's the team part of this game that I love, man. Everyone coming together, pulling the same. You could, you could feel it on the sidelines in the fourth quarter. It was good stuff. That touchdown throw to Jacoby, the first one. It felt like you guys were <coughs> kind of communicating at the line of scrimmage a little yeah. bit. Um, when it comes together like that, especially with a new teammate, how satisfying is that? It was pretty satisfying, not going to lie. Uh, we've been working on that one, got the look we wanted, and uh, we were both on the same page, man. So we just made it work. He made a hell of a catch, hell of a route. Uh, he had a good celebration, I heard. I haven't seen it yet, but we'll see. <laughs> Jimmy Garoppolo now with 41 wins in the NFL in his career. That's third just behind Lamar Jackson and Pat Mahomes in the same amount of time. But here's a great number, seven straight wins. Yep. Over the Broncos, seven. seven in a row. The last time that the Broncos actually beat the Raiders was 1,352 days ago. And in the Josh McDaniels era, they're 3-0 and against the Broncos, a team that he once coached. And so everything is great right now, especially when you take a look at those standings. It feels pretty good because <laughs> everybody easier, comes huh? into week one yeah. atop, but the Raiders are the there only ones. Got that, that stayed dub. on yeah. top and, and a got division, a W. And a division win, which means just a little bit more, a little icing on the cake when you beat a division opponent. But that looks good. Hope they no doubt. continue to stay on top like that. Absolutely. Right. And the Chargers lost to an AFC opponent. So that's a little <laughs> bonus, bonus. They too. do that. They do that. You know, they like, do that like, like my mom used to say, everybody ain't able. You know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know. you know what, though? The AFC, in many people's opinion, is much more tougher than the NFC yeah. this year. And we say it's just one win, just being 1-0. and But you got to stack those wins. Oh, one win does matter, uh, especially when it comes to playoff time. That's because right. it's going to be tight in the AFC. And here's the next four. Ooh. Hopefully they're going to stack some against these four. <laughs> the Buffalo Bills come up. Next, we'll have we'll a chance and they play uh, to see Monday. them they tomorrow Monday. night. They're going to have a short week. Yeah, yeah they're going to have a short week. Yeah. we we'll get an up-close look. They're coming off uh, a game against the Jets. Jets yeah. are good. Maybe they'll be coming yeah. off a loss. Steelers. Young they, quarterback. Yeah. The Steelers got spanked they by did. the San Francisco 49ers. W. Chargers lost they, last Chargers minute. Chargers always do Charger things. They, w, you know. they charge. Chargers going to charge. Uh, that's what they did. And then uh, the Green Bay Packers, Packers. Yeah. That's a, a team that you once played for, Ooh. is coming to town. Ooh, that's going to be a good one. All right. Well, we are looking forward to getting you caught up on everything Raiders all through the week leading up to the Bills. But as for now, it is one nothing Raiders atop the AFC West. Amber Theo Harris, Eric Allen. James Jones, we'll see you next time right here on Raiders Game Day.